Today we're going to do my five minute mobility and warm up routine that you should do for every single session. It hits every major joint that you have in your body and it's designed to activate and create the range of motion that we need to maximize our workouts. First up is the deep resting squat. Get your feet slightly wider than hip width apart. Sit back by hinging at your hip lifting your chest and then press your knees apart with your elbows with your hands in a prayer position pulling the thumbs into your chest bone try to not get folded forward and look at the ground try to extend your spine and look up sitting your hips down and extending your spine here's what it looks like from the side angle use your breath to create a larger space in that inner thigh and really try to look up and extend your spine as much as you can. Shift your weight into your heels and pull the knees out as you do it. Second up, forward fold. Hang over the top of your hamstrings with both legs straight to begin with. Make sure your feet are parallel and nice and narrow underneath you. Touch your chin into your chest and round your spine. Interlink your fingers behind your head and pull your head into your chest. Now bend one knee and then straighten the other and then alternate sides from right to left. This really stretches out the lower back, hamstrings and calves on one leg more than the other which is going to replicate like how you use your legs when you run or you lunge. Switch from left to right. Number three, feet wide. So the toes are still pointing inwards. Flex at your hip, forward fold, bring your hands to the floor. Make sure you push your hips back, squeezing your thighs. Walk your hands forward, drop your hips into it, extend your spine and look up. This is called a wide-legged cobra. Very, very good for releasing the inner thighs, hips and lower back. Walk back, bring your hands between your legs and then forward fold before walking out and extending for a second time. Number four is the lunge and twist. One of the most powerful mobilizers. Start by getting into your four point pose. Push your heels down, tilt your pelvis and bend your knees so that you can create a bigger space with your shoulders. Extend the left leg up and then step forward outside the left hand. Rotate the left arm, keeping your head looking down at your right hand, creating a huge twist. Bring your left hand down, left leg up and back, left heel down. Extend the right leg, then step it forward outside the right hand. Turn the right arm, but keep your head looking at the left hand. Push this back knee up and bend this right knee forward and rotate that upper body. Bring the right hand down, right leg back, down the facing dog and repeat on each leg doing number five, which is knees forward. Sit back, put your hands behind you, resting on your heels, push your hips up and shift your weight from left to right. This is really gonna open up the hip flexors and quads, really creating space and preparing those hips for all of those powerful lower body movements that we should be getting in, in most of our workouts. Once you've completed 30 seconds on that forward fold, shift your weight from left to right, flexing at the hip and opening up those abductors and glute meads on the outside of this glute. Once you've done that for 30 seconds, come up onto your knees. We're gonna do five big shoulder rolls backwards. Two, three, four, five. Change direction. One, two, three, four, five. We're gonna do the arm roll now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Change direction. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. On your knees, cross your arms over your chest with your palms facing down. Then swing them back with your palms facing up alternating whichever hand goes over the top. This is really going to open up the chest and shoulders and prepare those arms for any upper body work you're going to do. Once you've done 10 to 15 of those, 
Take your hands wide, palms facing up, keep your head facing forward and twist with the upper body, creating rotation through the spine, really mobilizing the thoracic because we're on our knees. Interlink your fingers behind your back with your palms facing downwards. Lean your head to the side, pulling your ear towards your shoulder and then this other shoulder, instead of letting it lift up, pull it down. Feel it stretch on that side. Change sides, we're holding for about five to 10 seconds on each side, opening the shoulder. Change sides. Five to 10 seconds, feel it pull back, pull that shoulder back slightly. Change sides, open the shoulder, pull that shoulder back slightly. Now look over your shoulder to one side, pull those shoulder blades back, lift your chest, and turn and look with your eyes as far around the corner as you can, switching every two to three seconds, 10 to 12. After you've completed that, you're gonna get into your leg swing. So you can use a pillar, a post, a wall, or another person. Lift the toe up out in front of you, straighten the leg. Always do the inside leg to the support. Swing the leg forward, and as you see, I'm swinging back, but I'm keeping it straight. I see a lot of people bending this back. Straighten it out. Swing with a straight fixed leg so that you can really get into the hip and hamstring. Do five to 10 of these on each leg, alternating sides. Pull the toe up, straighten the leg, hip and hamstring. Big swing, forward and back. Open it up. Finally doing it across the body, it's the same principle. You lift the toe up and you pull the leg straight and you're gonna swing across the body. I'm gonna do it facing the wall. So I put both hands on the wall, big swing, Cross and out, cross and out. Really creating a lovely big space in my inner and outer thigh. Five to 10 on each. Really creating a lovely big stretch. Finally, we're gonna do the same thing, but this time with the knee bent, toe activated again. We're gonna swing across the body out in front of us with both hands on the wall. Bring the knee up, big swing. And you can see what it does for my lower back and my hips. Hip rotation is so important to mobilize and so many lower body exercises use the hip rotation but it's never given a range of motion or mobilized. And you can see what kind of twist it does for my hips. Thanks for watching guys. Those are the key movements that you need to do before every single workout. If you get a routine like this that you know hits everything, you never have to think about a warm up routine ever again. It's all about getting in the mindset and getting the body ready for whatever you need to do every single time. Let's get it guys, we always go again.